Word with Luther for August 24th. I'm reading to you today from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 12 through 14 in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. So then, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. This is the Word of God. Luther wrote, like ourselves, Paul had to deal with two classes of people, the true and the false Christians. There is not so much danger from the adversaries of the doctrine. Their opposition is so open that we can readily be aware of them. But since the devil sows his seed among us who are called Christians and boast of the gospel, it behooves us to take heed of those who claim to be Christians. It is easy enough to boast of God and of Christ and of the Spirit, but whether such boasting has any foundation depends upon whether the Spirit so works and rules in us as to subdue and mortify sin. For where the Spirit is, there assuredly he is not idle nor powerless. He proves his presence by ruling and directing man and prevailing on him to obey and follow his promptings. To be led by the Spirit of God means to be given a heart which gladly hears God's word and believes that in Christ it has grace and the forgiveness of sins, a heart which confesses and proves its faith before the world a heart which seeks above all things the glory of God and endeavors to live without giving offense, to serve others and to be obedient, patient, pure and chaste, mild and gentle, a heart which, though at times overtaken in a fault and may stumble, soon rises again by repentance and ceases to sin. All these things the Holy Spirit teaches one if he hears and receives the word and does not willfully resist the Spirit. The devil, who is also a spirit, persuades the hearts of the worldlings, but it soon becomes evident that his work is not that of a good or divine spirit, for he leads men to do the reverse of that which the Spirit of God leads them to do. They find no pleasure in hearing and obeying God's word, but despise God and become proud and haughty, avaricious, unmerciful. Let every one therefore take heed that he deceive not himself, for there are many who claim to be Christians and are not. We perceive this from the fact that not all are led by the Spirit of God. This is such a tightrope to walk. Um, we are sinful by nature, but by our new nature we are to be led by the Holy Spirit, by God. And yet we still sin from time to time. And so we are tempted to believe that we aren't Christian because we still sinned and spirit should have been at work in us and helped us to not sin. It's even difficult sometimes to figure out what's willful sinning and what's not. And I suppose the helpful thing here is uh, if you repent, if you confess, God's grace is available. That's his promise. Um, the idea of, of uh, sinning in my mind, is always, do you keep on sinning? Are you, are you making a practice of it? Not will you sin again, but do you just sin with abandon willfully over and over and over again and, and never confess it and never repent and, and never uh, uh, try to not sin? Um, depending upon the strength of the Spirit is mainly depending upon His strength to repent. Not to be perfect, but to repent of your imperfectness, of your sinfulness. So when you transgress, when you step over the line, when you sin, let the Spirit lead you back. Let Him lead you to confession and to repentance. Let Him lead you to the peace of Christ, which surpasses even the feelings of being a sinner. Father, it's so difficult to talk about this, and I, I ask that you give me um, stronger words, better ways of explaining what my heart knows to be true from reading it in your word, that you are a forgiver of sinners. Give us the courage to repent and come back to you over and over throughout this life. We ask it for Christ's sake in our lives and in his name. Amen. Thanks for being with me today. I hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow for Reading the Word with Luther.